Hello again, Chris here at Marine Max in Pompano Beach. Today we're standing on board a brand new Aviara 36 that we just had arrived from the factory. One of the first 2024 models to come in and we're very excited for you to take a look at this. The Aviara 36 is powered by triple Mercury 300 V8 Verados. Awesome power package for this boat, gets you up on plane nicely, great cruising speed, and uh, really gives the boat a great dynamic on the water. As we start here on the aft end, as you can see, with our stern seats up, it gives you tons of access here to my battery switches, breakers, my single flush for the outboards, as well as my fresh water fill. But just attention to detail with Aviara, all clean, nicely finished out fiberglass, all gas assist struts to keep these up and out of the way if I am trying to get into some of my gear. I do have a freshwater sprayer down here as well. And then these close off nicely to expose my aft sun pad. So nice sun pad, plenty of cup holders back here. Kind of a unique design if you haven't seen this barstool bleacher style seating before, but what this allows you to do is if I did have a bunch of people on boat that day, these backrests will actually hinge into position. And the point of that is if I had three people sitting here on the aft end of the boat, these upper seats allow for now six people to be accommodated back here for relaxing at the beach or at the sandbar and uh, have a nice social gathering spot here on the aft end of the boat. But if I didn't need these observer seats, pull on the handle underneath and it creates a nice padded bolster for when these backrests are laid down to kind of use as a lounge pad or maybe a headrest if I wanted to relax and uh, just have more of a sun pad feel here on the aft end of the boat. All covered in non-skid sea deck material. Cool feature here is we work our way in. I love this little feature with Aviar and what it allows us to do is have dedicated storage for our fenders. Always a tricky place to be able to toss fenders because they're big and bulky and Aviar gave us a dedicated place to be able to slot those in and keep them conveniently out of the way. As you work our way in, a nice two step down into the cockpit gives me a little bit more freeboard added security. And in the very spacious cockpit, as you can see, no shortage of seats. And what I love that Aviara does very well is they maximize your usable storage space. So underneath all of these seats is going to be storage. So you can be able to toss some of your gear out of the way. And then this here is actually a subwoofer. But what I love is that they keep it flush mounted with the side of the fiberglass here. So they're really maximizing the usable space down here in the cockpit. Gas assist struts keep these up. A nice back embossed logo with Aviara there. So nice fit and finish. Attention to detail. A very progressive style, as you can see in the way they designed the cup holders, grab rails, speaker covers, all matching the theme of the dark black and gray. And uh, you can see the grab handles there, the stanchions and the hard top, the speaker covers, all kind of keep that consistent theme, which I really like. Cool thing too, Aviara actually gives you two access points to fill up your gas tank. You have one on each gunnel line and they both feed to the same tank. So no matter where you pull up on the dock, you can uh, easily fill up the tank and not have to worry about spinning the boat. Summer kitchen, always a cool feature here with the Aviara on the starboard side. You have the option for a single or dual grill. And then underneath, you have the option for single or dual refrigerator. Obviously, very hot in the state of Florida, so we like to keep our drinks nice and cool. So we went dual refrigerator on this boat, single grill for doing a little bit of barbecuing. And then here at the summer kitchen, dedicated bottle storage, a sink, and this entire compartment is insulated. And if that was not enough to keep your drinks cool, this boat also has a pull-out cooler that is removable. So if, was, uh, if I was on the beach one day and wanted to bring the cooler on, I could pop this whole cooler out, bring it on the beach, have lunch. And then when I'm done with it, tucks away nicely so it's not taking up any room in the cockpit. Go ahead and close down our summer kitchen here. One thing I love is the shape of this boat and the design and some of the angular lines to it. You can see that the modern look kind of continues through the shape of the hardtop and how they mold the lines in the hardtop. Very aggressive, very progressive style in the Aviara 36. I do have an observer seat with a flip down bolster. Kind of gives me a different vantage point here. And again, no shortage of cup holders as they line the entire port side of the boat. And we'll go ahead and work our way up here to the helm. So come around here real quick. I love this feature on the boat. As you can see here, I do have just my standard view for my view over the windshield, but if I needed a little bit elevated point of view, I do have a little booster step there to be able to give me a little bit better view over the top of the windshield cap. And then these cup holders are different from the rest of the boat because they're actually chilled. So here at the left tablet, and we'll go over that in a second, there's a function on here that allows me to chill these cup holders to keep the captain's drinks nice and cold. Convenient location for my VHF radio, digital throttle and shift, and my joystick for my Mercury outboards. And then over here on the far right hand side is going to be my trim tabs and an inductive phone charger here for the captain as well. 
a big multifunction SIMRAD display in the center, my vessel view diagnostics for all of my engine data on the right hand side, and then this left tablet will control all of the systems on board from your pumps, your lights, your stereo, your sunshade that comes out of the back of the hardtop, your engine compartment to be able to open that up and access your generator. So this is a fully integrated display to give you all access to all of my systems on board. Huge feature in the 36 is I can include a generator on board for this boat. This boat does include one so that I can actually air condition the cabin down below. So nice wide access as I work my way down in. And as we look down below here, there is a receiver for a table here in the center. And that's what this cushion is for, so to be able to lay on top. But if we weren't going to be using this as a berth to be laying and spending the weekend on the boat, a cool feature like we had on the aft end is this centerpiece will ratchet into position, giving me a backrest. So if I wanted to just get out of the sun and come down here and have a meal, I can have two people sit here comfortably, as well as where I'm sitting as well. And we can relax inside the boat here. I do have Eclipse audio soundbar, flat screen Samsung TV, microwave, and additional storage down here below. What's cool too, we're going to come around on this side, show you inside the headspace. I do have a nice stand up head, and that is a wet head where I do have a pull out shower sprayer as well. Working our way forward into the bow here of the 36, one thing I always like to mention is the gunnel height as I work my way forward. Other bow riders and luxury day cruisers in class sometimes give you a little bit of like a downward sloping bow seating arrangement, but with the Aviara they maintain that freeboard all the way up into the bow. So a nice padded bolster to lean up against, you can see nice and deep up front here. So if I am going to be doing some open ocean cruises, it does give me a little bit more sense of security when I am riding up here in the front of the boat. So at my height, 6'3", you can see it's hit me nice and high in the backrest, no shortage of leg space. Tons of cup holders, extra speakers up here, as well as the stereo control. And there also is an option to fill this in to give me another sun pad here in the front of the boat. And one thing that's really, really cool, I love showing this too in the Aviara, is how they finish out all of their compartments. So everything on the boat has an A-side, B-side finished fiberglass hatch. So it's not just a cookie cutter drop in, this is a full molded hatch that's done right at the factory. All cleanly finished out in here as well, so it's very easy to wash down. And I do have a fresh water sprayer up front here as well to be able to wash off my ground tackle. I really hope you all enjoyed the look at this brand new Aviar 36 here at Marine Max in Pompano. If you'd like to set an appointment or had any questions on this boat, feel free to call or text me at 727-460-4175. Thank you.